got an APC Smart UPS 2200. Sometimes it blinks red, sometimes it works. But we've had a couple of power surges recently where it didn't do what it was supposed to do, which is keep my equipment running. Uh, I know the closet looks a mess, but um, we suspect the batteries are bad. And I'm gonna go about how to replace the batteries. Um, I'm holding the phone with one hand and working with the other, so bear with me. Uh, should be pretty easy. There's a tab here and a tab on the other side. You just pull on it for the front cover to come off on each side and the front cover just comes off. You should be able to do this while it's running. So um, there's this plug right here. You should be able to just pull off and unplug and turn it down. Then there should be three Phillip head screw screws that you should remove. One, uh, two, and three. And don't mind the beeping. It's just telling you that the batteries are disconnected. Everything else is still running, I believe. So we should be okay. Um, so the screws are just a number two Phillip head. Um, if it can focus, there we go. A regular old Phillip head screw. We're gonna remove all three screws. It's hard to do it with one hand, but um, I'm hoping it's not too hard. And this might apply to other ones. If yours looks like this on the front, most likely it's the same way, but I do not know. You can look and see. Now there are other Phillip head screws on the front, um, uh, which I'll point out here, that you don't need to remove. You just need to remove these three. So there's this guy and this guy, which you don't need to remove. And then the whole tray should pull out. So um, with a bit of luck, we'll get it out. Um, I think you might have to lift and then bring out. So I'm going to pause it and then I'll explain that when I, after I do it. So literally a second later, I just lift it up and pulled it out and it pulls out. So now this is a little bit heavy, so I'm gonna um, just pull it out all the way and I'll come back. All right, so it's out here on the table. As I suspected, you just pull it out and it comes off. You'll see there's four screws. One, two, three, and four. We'll have to remove all of those to get the lid off. And they're the same screwdriver, Phillip head. And again, sorry for any shaky uh, footage. I'm just working with one hand. And the lid should just lift off afterwards. Don't lose the screws. But... And there it is. You've got eight batteries. Each one is a PS1250 F1, which just means 12 volt, 5 amp. Doesn't matter what brand, as long as they're the same size and same amperage. You could see these are a little bit bulged and a little bit warm to the touch. Um, but yours could be better or worse. But these need to be replaced. All right, I'll start replacing them. My suggestion is, now that there's no load on it, you could do just one at a time and you just disconnect and reconnect the new one. That way you don't get them backwards or anything. In the end, you could always test here at the outlet. And as long as you get 48 or, or you know, whatever, if they're 12.5, you're gonna get a little bit more. So um, as long as you get that, you'll be fine. Uh, we're gonna start replacing them. I'll be right back. And here is a case of new ones. Got them from my local Batteries Plus. And I got a case of 10, I'll only need eight. They're Duracells, 12 volt, five amp hour. And I'll just show you how I'm swapping one of them. Obviously I've only got one hand. We'll see if I can do it. And then you can do the same thing for all of them. So you're gonna get the battery, pull it up a little bit. So you can see the prongs, disconnect them. Just the two prongs off of one battery, pull it up and then put in the new battery. Same direction. Make sure the positive goes to positive and the negative goes to negative, and then just repin it. You can use both hands, lift, put it in place, and so on. So I'm going to come back after they're all in. All right, one thing worth mentioning is that the cables are running next to the batteries, not under them. So when as you're replacing, make sure you don't pinch them. Just keep them next to the battery. Bam! Here are all the batteries back in the pack, and they look pretty. 
um, I made sure that the wires aren't pinched next to the batteries. I don't know if you can see that or not, but they're, they're all on the sides. Um, some people prefer to have taken a picture and then taken everything out and put it back together, but I found that all the wires are yellow, so taking a picture really wouldn't be as easy as what I did. So just take one out, put the other one in, and call it a day. Um, and in the end, if you have a voltmeter, you set it to volts DC, and let's see if I can do this with one hand. Then prong, and I've got 51 volts, which is what I should be around. We're getting close to the last step. I'm gonna get the lid, and the lid just drops right back where it was. Or it should, because the batteries are the same size. And the bolts should just line up. You take your four bolts that you took off in the previous step, and you put them on. And just hand tighten everything and then put them with a the screwdriver. And I'll be back once it's all back together. We're back in the rack. We just slid it in there, slide all the way until it clicks in place. Put your screws back in. Let's see if I can do this with one hand again and do the whole finish up this silly video by now I'm sure you already know where we're going with this it's blinking because the batteries are out I discovered I'm good with a screwdriver with just one hand And then we're supposed to just be able to plug it back in and see what happens. Uh, there we are. Plugged in. Nothing caught fire yet. And then we can put the cover back on, which just clips right back into place. Oh, look at that. The beeping stopped. Shows we have a full battery. And that's that. And I think we're done. All right. Laters.